The Book of Psalms, Tehili. Book 2, Psalms 42. To the chief musician, a contemplation of the sons of Korah. As the deer pounds for the water brook, so my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, whilst they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me, for I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with a voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Open God, for I shall yet praise him with the help of his countenance. O oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from the heights of Hermon, from the hill Mizar, the call unto deep of the noise of your waterfalls. In all your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his love and kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the rock, my I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with the breaking of my bones, my enemies reproach me, while they say to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of my countenance and my God. Psalms 43 Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against the un an ungodly nation. Oh, deliver me from the deceitful and unjust now. For you are the God of my strength. Why do you cast me off? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy, and on the harp I will praise you, O God, my God. Why are you downcast, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. Psalms 44 to this chief musician, a contemplation of the sons of Korah. We've heard with our ears, O oh God. Our fathers have told us the deeds you did in the days and the days of old. You drove out the nations with your hand, but them you planted. You afflicted the people and cast them out, for they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword, nor did their own arm save them, but it was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. You are my King, O God, command victories for Jacob. Through you we will push down our enemies, through your name we will trample those who rise up against us, for I will not trust in my bow, nor shall my sword save me. But you have saved us from our enemies and have put to shame those who hated us. In God we boast all day long and praise your name forever, Sila. But you have cast us off and put us to shame, and you do not go out with our armies. You make us turn back from the enemy, and those who hate us have taken spoil for themselves. You've given us up like sheep intended for food and have scattered us among the nations. 
you sell your people for next to nothing and are not enriched by selling them. You make us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to those all around us. You make us a byword among the nations, a shaking of the head among the people. My dishonor is continually before me, and the say, the shame of my face have covered me because of the voice of him who reproaches and reviles, because of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you, nor have we dealt falsely with your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way, but you severely broken us in the place of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. If we had forgotten the name of a God or stretched out our hands to a foreign God, would not God set this out? For he knows the secret of the heart, yet for your sake we are killed all day long. We are called, accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake! Why do you sleep, O Lord? Arise! Do not cast us off forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our affliction and our oppressions? For our soul is bowed down to the dust, our body clinging to the ground. Arise for our help and redeem us for your mercy's sake. Psalms 45 To the chief musician set to the lilies, a contemplation of the sons of Korah, a song of love. My heart is overflowing with a good theme. I recite my composition concerning the king. My song is a pen of a ready writer. You are fairer than the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one, with your glory and your majesty. And in your majesty write prosperously because of truth, humility, and righteousness. And your right hand shall teach you awesome things. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. The people fall under you. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love, you love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness and more than your companions. All your garments are scented with myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces by which they have made you glad. King's daughters are among your honorable women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold from Ophi. Listen, O oh daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your people, your own people also, and your father's house. So the king would greatly desire your beauty because he is your Lord. Worship him and the daughter of Tyr will come with a gift, the rich among the people who seek your favor. The royal delta is all glorious within the palace. Her clothing is woven with gold. She shall be brought to the king in robes of many colors. The virgins and companions who follow her, who follow her, shall be brought to you with gladness and rejoicing. They shall be brought, they shall enter the king's palace. Instead of your fathers shall be your sons, whom you shall make princes in all the earth. I'll make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, the people shall praise you forever and ever. Psalms 46 God is our refuge and strength, a present help in trouble. 
Therefore we will not fear. Though the earth be moved and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swell, Sila. There is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations rage, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord, who has made the desolation in who has made desolation in the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 47 verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of the sons of Korah. Oh, clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is awesome. He is a king over all the earth. He will subdue the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He will choose our inheritance for us. The excellence of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have gathered together. The people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 48 a psalm of the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, in the city of our God, in his holy mountain. Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the side of the north, the city of the great king. God is in her palaces. He is known as her refuge. For behold, the kings assemble, they pass together. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled, they hastened away. Fear took hold of them there, and pain as if a woman in bed punks. As when you break the ships of Tarshish with an east wind, as we have heard, we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. We have taught, O oh God, on your love and kindness in the midst of your temple, According to your name, O God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgment. Walk about Zion and go all around her. 
counted towers, map well her bulwarks, consider her palaces, that you may tell it to the generations following. For this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to death. Psalm 49 Hear this, all peoples. Give ye, all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall give understanding. I will incline my ear to prove it. I will disclose my dark saying on her. Why should I fear in the day of evil, when the iniquity at my heels surround me? Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of, of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their souls is costly, and it shall cease forever that he should continue to live eternally and not see the pit. For he sees wise men die, likewise the fool and the senseless person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inner thought is that their house will last forever. Their dwellings places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man, though in honor, does not remain. He is like the beast that perish. This is the way of those who are foolish and of their posterity who approve their saying. Like sheep they are laid in the grave, death shall feed on them. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall be consumed in the grave, far from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave for he shall receive me. Do not be afraid when one becomes rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dies, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him, though while he lives, he blesses himself. For men will praise you when you do well for yourself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. A man who is in honor, yet does not understand, is like the beast that perish. Psalm 50 The Mighty One, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down out of zion the perfection of beauty god will shine forth our god shall come forth and shall not keep silent a fire shall devour before him and it shall be very tempestuous all around him he shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth he may judge his people gather my saints together to me those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice let the heavens declare his righteousness for god himself is judge hear O oh, my people and i will speak O oh, israel I will testify against you. I am God, your God.
I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your house nor goats out of your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle on, the, on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains and the beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world is mine and all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and, shall glorify, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked God says, What right have you to declare my statutes or take my covenant on your mouth? Seeing you hate instruction, and cast my words before you. When you saw a thief, you consented with him and have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil and your tongue frame deceit. You sit and speak against your brother you slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silent. You thought that I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forgot, forget God lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoever offers praise glorifies me, and to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show salvation, I will show the salvation of God. Psalms 51 To the chief musician, the psalm of David when Nathan the prophet went to him after he had gone into Bathsheba. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your love and kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sins is always before me. Against you, only you, have I done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward part and in the hidden part. You will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with his soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my thumb shall sing aloud of your righteousness, O Lord. Open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise, for you do not desire sacrifice or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a broken and a contract heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering, 
then they shall offer bulls on your altar. Psalms 52 To the chief musician, a contemplation of David, when Doeg the Edomite went and told Saul and said to him, David has gone to the house of Ahimelech. Why do you boast in evil, Almighty One? The goodness of God endures continually. Your thumb devises destruction like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love evil more than good, lying rather than speaking righteousness. You love all devouring words, you deceitful, you deceitful thong, Sila. God shall likewise destroy you forever. He shall take you away and pluck you out of your dwelling place and uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him, saying, here is the man who did not make God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of the Lord. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever because you have done it. And in the presence of your saints, I will wait on your name for it is good. Psalms 53 To the chief musician said to Mahalath, a contemplation of David. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and have done abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand who seek God. Every one of them has turned aside. They've together become corrupt. There is none who does good. No, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon God. There they are in the great fear where no fear was. For God has scattered the bones of him who comes against you. You've put them to shame because God has despised them. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion. When God brings back the captivity of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Psalms 54. To the chief musician, with a stringed instrument, a contemplation of David, when the Ziphites went and said to Saul, Is David not hiding with us? Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth, for strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors have sought after my life. They have not set God before them. Sila. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. He will repay my enemies for evil. Count them, cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all trouble and my eyes have seen its desire upon my enemies. Psalms 55 To the chief musician with string instruments, a contemplation of David. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I'm restless in my complaints and mourn noisily because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horrors have overwhelmed me. So I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Indeed, I would wonder far off and remain in the wilderness. 
I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their thorn, for sin, violence, and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls. Iniquity and trouble are also in the midst of it. Destruction is in its midst. Oppression and deceit do not depart from its street. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I would bear it. Nor is it one who hates me, who has exalted itself against me. Then I would hide from him. But it was you, a man, my equal, my companion, and my acquaintance, who took strict counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throne. Let death seize them. Let them go down alive in hell, for wickedness is in their dwelling and among them. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Even in, in morning and afternoon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many that were against me. God will hear and afflict them. Even he who abides from of old, because they do not change, therefore they do not fear God. He has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be mourned. But you, O oh God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Lord, thirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. Psalms 56 To the chief musician said to the silent dove in distant lands, and made them of David when the Philistines captured him in Gath. Be merciful to me, O God, for man would swallow me up. Fighting all day, he oppresses me. My enemies would hound me all day, for there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I've put my trust. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? All day they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather together, they hide, they mark my steps, they when they lie in wait for my life. Shall they escape by iniquity? In anger cast them down, the people. Cast down the people, O oh God. You number my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. Thus I know because God is for me. In God I will praise his word. In the Lord I will praise. In the Lord I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Vows made to you are binding upon me, O God. I will render praise to you, for you have delivered my soul from death. You've kept my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalms 57 To the chief musician said to do not destroy a major of David when he fled from Saul into the cave. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me. For my soul trusts in you. In the shadow of your wings I will make my refuge until these calamities 
have passed by. I'll cry out to God most high, to God who performs all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me. He reproaches the one who would swallow me up. Sila. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions. I lie among the sons of men who are set on fire, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their thong a sharp sword. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They've dug a pit before me. Into the midst of it, themselves have fallen. Sila. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise. Awake my glory. Awake, lute and harp, I would awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing to you among the nations, for your mercy reaches unto the heavens and your truth unto the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above the earth. Psalms 58. To the chief musician set to do not destroy a major of David. Do you indeed speak righteousness, you silent ones? Do you judge uprightly, you sons of men? No, in the heart you work wickedness, you weigh out the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death, co death cobra that stops its ear, which will not heed to voice the voice of charmers, charming ever so skillfully. Break their teeth, O oh God. Break their teeth in their mouth, O oh God. Break out the fangs of the young lions, O oh Lord. Let them flow away as waters which run continually. When he bends his bow, mm -hmm. let his arrows be as if cut in pieces. Mm -hmm. Let them be like a snail which melts away as it goes, like a stillborn child of a woman that they may not see the sun. Before your ports can feel the burning thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, as in his leaven and burning wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that men will say, Surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely he is God who judges the earth. Psalms 59. The chief musician said to do not destroy, Mecham of David, when Saul sent men and they watched the house in order to kill him. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh God. Defend me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloodthirsty men. For look, they lie in wait for my life. The mighty gather against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O oh Lord. They run and prepare themselves through no fault of mine. Awake to help me, and behold, you therefore, O oh Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel. Awake to punish all the nations. Do not be merciful to any wicked transgression, sinner. At evening they return, they growl like a dog and go around the city. Indeed, they belt with their mouth, salt are in their lips, for they say, Who hears? But you, O Lord, shall laugh at them. You shall have all of the nations in derision. I will wait for you, O Lord, his strength. For God is my defense, O Lord. 
for you is strength. For God is my defense. My God of mercy shall come to me. God shall let me see my desire on my enemies. Do not slay them, lest the people, lest my people forget. Scatter them by your power and bring them down, O Lord, I shall. For the sins of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride. And for the cursing and the lying which they speak, consume them in wrath, consume them that they may not be, and let them know that God rules in Jacob to the ends of the earth, Sila. At the evening they return, they growl like a dog and go round the city. They wander up and down for food and howl if they are not satisfied. I will sing of your power, yes. I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning. For you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. To you, O oh my strength, I will sing praises, for God is my defense, my God of mercy. Hallelujah. Psalms 60. To the chief musician, said to Lily of the testimony, a meacham of David, for teaching when he fought against Mesopotamia and Syria of Zobah, and Joab returned and killed 12,000 Edomites in the valley of salt. Oh God, you have cast us off. You have broken us down. You've been displeased. Oh, restore us again. You've made the earth tremble. You've broken it. Heal its bridges, for it is shaken. You've shown your people hard things. You've made us drink the wine of confusion. You've given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth, Sila. That your beloved may be delivered. Say with your right hand and hear me. God has spoken in his holiness. I rejoice. I will defy Sikkim and measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Kiliak is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the helmet of, for my head. Judah is my Lord giver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I will cast my shoe. Philistia shalt in triumph because of me. Who will bring me to the strong city? Who will lead me to Edom? It is not you, O God. Is it not you, O God, who cast us off? And you, O God, who did not go out with our armies. Give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. Through God we will do valiantly, for it is he who shall tread down our enemies. Psalms 61 Hear my cry, O God. Attend to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I will cry to you, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you've been a shelter for me, a strong tower from my enemies. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the shelter of your wings. For you, O oh God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life. His years as many generations, he shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So I will sing praise to your name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Psalms 62 To the chief musician, to Jonathan, a psalm of David. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you attack me? How long will you attack a man? 
you shall be slain, all of you, like a leaning wall and a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly, Zilla. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense, I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Sila. Surely men of low degree are a vapor. Men of high degree are a lie. If they are weighed on a scale, they are altogether lighter than vapor. Do not trust in oppression, nor vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. Also, to you, O Lord, belongs mercy, for you render to each one according to his work. Psalms 63 O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my face, those who seek my life to destroy it, shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But my mouth, the mouth of those who speak lies, by the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. Psalms 64 Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity who sharpen their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows which are bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the blameless. Suddenly they shoot at him and do not fear. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They talk of lameness secretly. They say, who will see them? They devise iniquities. They have perfected a shoot scheme. Both the inward thoughts and the heart of man are deep. And God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly, they shall be wounded, so he will make them stumble over their own thong. All who see them shall flee away. All men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. And they shall wisely consider his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. Psalms 65 Praise await you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall the vow be performed, O you who hear prayer. To you, O flesh, O come, iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, you will provide atonement for them. Amen. 
Blessed is the man who choose. Blessed is the man you choose and cause to approach you that he may dwell in your court. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, of your holy temple. By all certain deeds and righteousness, you will answer us, O oh God of our salvation. You who were, you who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of the fire of seas, who established the mountains by his strength, being clothed with power, who, you, who still the noise of the seas, the noise of the waves, and the tumults of the peoples. They also who dwell in the Father's heart of, are afraid of your signs. You make the outgoings of the morning and evening rejoice. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain, for so you have prepared it. You water its ridges, ridges abundantly. You settle its firms. You make it soft with showers. You bless its growth. Hallelujah. You crown the year with your goodness and your part drip with abundance. They, drip, they drop on the pastures of the wilderness and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered with grain. They shout for joy. They also sing. Psalms 66 To the chief musician, a song, a psalm. Make a joyful sound. Make a joyful noise to God. Make a joyful shout to God, all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All oh, that worship shall sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. Sila, come and see the works of God. He's awesome in his doings towards the sons of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the river on foot. There we will rejoice in him. He rules by his powerful river. His eyes observe the nations. Do not let the rebellious exalt themselves. Sila. Oh, bless our God, you peoples and make the voice of his praise to be heard. You who keep our soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have tested us. You've refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our back. You've caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire and through the water but you brought us out to reach fulfillment. I will go into the house of the Lord. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows, which my lips have altered, and my mouth have spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt sacrifices of bad fat animals with the sweet aroma of rams. I will offer bulls with goats. Come. And hear all you who fear God, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my thong. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But certainly, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercies from Psalms 67 To the chief musician on stringed instruments, a psalm, a song. God be merciful to us and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known on earth, and your salvation among all nations. See them. Let the people praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. Oh, let the nations be glad 
and sing for joy. For you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our God, shall bless you. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Psalm 68 To the chief musician, a psalm of David, a song. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God, yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, extol him who rides on the clouds by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity. But the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God. Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You, O oh God, sent a plentiful rain, whereby you confirmed your inheritance when it was weary. Your congregation dwell in it. You, O oh God, provided from your goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word, great was the company of those who proclaimed it. Kings of armies flee, they flee, and she who remains at home divides the spoil. Though you lie down among the sheepfolds, you will be like the wings of a dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings and it, it was white as snow in Salmon. A mountain of gold is the mountain of Bashan. A mountain of many peaks is the mountain of Bashan. Why do you fume with envy, you mountains of many peaks? This is the mountain which God desires to dwell in. Yes, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in his holy place. You have ascended on high, you have led captivity captive, you have received gifts among men, even from the rebellious, that the Lord God might dwell. There. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation, Selah. Our God is the God of salvation, and to God the Lord belongs escapes from death. Hallelujah. But God would wound the head of his enemies, the hairy cows of the one who still goes on in his trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring back from Russia. I will bring them back from the depths of the sea, that your foot may crush them in blood, and the thongs of your dogs may have their portion from your enemies. They have seen your procession, O oh God, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. The singers went before the players on instruments followed after. Among them were maidens playing timbrels. Bless God in the congregations, the Lord from the fountains of Israel, 
Pharaoh's little Benjamin, their leader, the princes of Judah and their company, their princes of Zebulun, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali. Your God has commanded your strength. You have done for us because of your temple at Jerusalem. Kings will bring presents to you. Rebuke the beast of the reeds, the head of bulls, with the cows of the people. Till everyone submits himself with pieces of silver. Scatter the people of who delight in war. Envoys will come out of Egypt. Ethiopia will quickly stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Oh, send praises to the Lord. Sila. To him who rides on the heavens of heavens, which were of old. Indeed, he sent out his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe strength to God. His excellence is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O oh God, you are more awesome than your holy places. The God of Israel is he who gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Psalms 69. To the chief musician set to the lilies, a psalm of David. Save me, O God, for the waters have come upon my neck. I sink in deep mirror where there is no standing. I've come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I'm weary with my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of the head my head. They are mighty who would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully. Though I have stolen nothing, I still must restore it. Oh God, you know my foolishness and my sins are not hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you, O oh Lord, God of hosts, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek you be confounded because of me, O God of Israel. Because for your sake I have borne reproach. Shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house has eaten me up, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. When I wept and chastened my soul with faster, that became my reproach. I also made sackcloth my garment. I became a byword to those, to them. Those who sit in the gay speak against me, and I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is to you. O oh Lord, in that acceptable time, O oh God, in the multitude of your mercy, Hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mirror and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood waters overflow me, nor let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit shut its mouth on me. Hear me, O Lord, for your love and kindness is good. Turn to me according to the multitude of your tender mercies, and do not hide your face from your servant. For I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw near to my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart. And I am full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They also gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and their well-being a trap. 
let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see and make their limbs shake continually. Pour out your indignation on them and let your wrath, wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their dwelling place be desolate and let no one live in their tent. For they persecute the one who have struck. For they persecute the ones you have struck and talk of the grief of those you have wounded. Add iniquity to their iniquity and let them not come into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let your salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than ox, an ox or bull, which has horns and hooves. The humble shall see this and be glad, and you who seek God, your hearts shall live. For the Lord hears the poor and does not despise the prisoner. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save and build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and possess it. Also, the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall dwell in it. Amen. Psalms 70 To the chief musician, a psalm of David, to bring to remembrance. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help, O Lord. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded who seek my life. Let them be turned back and confused who desire my head. Let them be turned back because of their shame who say, aha, aha. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation say continually, let the Lord, be, let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy, make haste to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O oh Lord, do not delay. Psalms 71 In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel person. For you are my hope, O Lord. You are my trust from my youth. But you have been upheld by you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall continually be of you. I have become as a wonder to many, but you are my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies speak against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together, saying, God has forsaken him. Pursue and take him, for there is none to deliver. O oh God, do not be far from me. O oh my God, make haste to help. Let them be confounded and consumed who are adversaries of my life. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek my head. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and your salvation all day. For I do not know their limits. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness of yours only. Oh God, 
you have fought me from my youth and to this day I declare your wondrous works. Now also, when I'm old and grey-headed, oh God, do not please forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. Also, your righteousness, oh God, is very high. You who have done great things, oh God, who is like you, you who have shown me great and severe troubles shall revive me again and bring me up again from the death of the earth. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Also, with the lute I will praise you and your faithfulness, O oh my God, to you I will sing with a harp. O oh, Holy One of Israel, my lips shall rejoice greatly when I sing to you and my soul, which you have redeemed. My thong also shall talk of your righteousness all day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought to shame who seek my hands. Amen.